hello 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 this is Frida welcome to my channel for today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to crochet this lovely motif and then how to attach them it's very simple and it looks sophisticated okay it's all done double crochet back loops just to give you an idea so we're going to chain total of nine chain and then we're going to start in the middle, do four double crochets, three chains, four double crochets, three chain, four double crochet. And then we're going to continue increasing here until we have total of uh, eight, uh, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we're going to do this part right here. Okay, so it's so easy. And it just looks fantastic but it does use up lots so yarn just want to let you know so if you have yarn in your stash just grab it i'm just using acrylic yarn it's one of those uh care on um soft i believe these are two weight or three weight um so i'm gonna pull it from the inside and start crocheting okay and then i already did um uh, sample here so i'm planning to make a baby blanket i don't know it depends if i get bored i'll finish it to a baby blanket but i'm planning to make something but this is acrylic yarn so it's not that heavy okay so let's get started just grab the yarn that you have in your stash it can be any weight you want and i would recommend you to follow what it says on the label for this i'm using a tulip three millimeter crochet hook okay so i'm gonna chain nine okay and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to make a slip stitch just like this and then i'm going to chain three to go up and then i'm going to make three double crochets okay and then i'm gonna weave this while i go I did clips and I added to my Instagram page while I was trying to work on this tutorial. Okay, so I did three double crochets with the three chain. I have four, so I'm going to chain three. And then I'm going to make a total of four double crochets right here. Two, three, four. Okay, chain three. Again, make four double crochets. Chain three. And then make four double crochet. Okay, I am not going to chain and then make a slip stitch i did this on one of the motifs and i really don't like how it looks that looks where it is let me just show it to you here see i don't like how it gives me this line and when you look at it, it doesn't look good so i'm going to do show you how to not to show that line here see you don't see anything on the other ones so it was a trial while well, i tried to f do it the best way okay so i'm going to chain three okay and i am going to grab a marker so i know where is uh, going to be my uh, next row otherwise it's hard to see so i'm just going to put my marker here and this indicates that i'm going to start a new row okay can you see this here i'm going to do a double crochet where this uh, chain is and then from now on I'm going to do back post so these couple of rows that we're going to be working on is going to be just like this back post see to create that line just like this 
Okay, and then when I come to the three chain, I'm just going to make three, uh, two double crochet. Three chain, so these are the increase. I saw this in a picture, so I don't have any patterns, I don't have any graphics. I just looked at the picture and I started to crochet this. So this was on my do list since December. <laughs> do a tutorial list, let's say it that way. Okay, and I after doing the two double crochet, I make four back posts on the four double crochets that we have. And when I come to the corner here, I make my increase, which is two double crochet, three chain, three chain is always on the corner, and then make two double crochet. It's like making a granny square, but we're doing back posts, just like this. So we do this until we have total of seven lines that I just showed you. Okay, and when I come here, I do my increase, two double crochet, three chain, two double crochet, and then I do my uh, front post. Grab it like this, and then make double crochet. Just like this. And then when I come to the two chain, the three chain, I make two double crochet, three chain, and then two double crochet. The reason I'm sharing this, because I have never seen this, uh, uh, this particular Motif, so I wanted to share it with you guys. Okay, so I'm where where I do my increase and Where I start a new row see I have done the first I'm going to do the second And I continue making my back post after doing the two double crochet nothing different But I know that this is a new row that we're going to be starting other than that. I don't like that uh, slip stitch three chain to go up it, it shows it doesn't look nice on, in, on the motif when you lay it down. Sometimes you need to play around with it and create something unique, right? Okay, so I'm at the corner again. I did my two double crochet, three chain. And the corner are always like this. And then I do my, my front post. Just like this okay and then you will see when we're doing the front post you will see the line that we're creating see and sometimes the double crochet is hidden it's really hard to see and it gives you that nice fabric see what I mean see how it gives you this nice fabric when you pull it you can see the double crochets I haven't ironed or steamed it or blocked it, so uh, it just looks nice. And I just used the yarn that I had, so I didn't go out and buy yarn for this uh, project. Okay, so I'm going to continue crocheting just like this until I have a total of seven lines like this. And I showed you, I just continue crocheting where I start the, where was it? Here, here where I start the new, and it doesn't give me that line. Okay. See? Let me just show you more, and then you will get the hang of it. It's so easy. You don't have to count anything. Just continue crocheting like this. When I come to the corner, I do my increase, two double crochet, three chain, two double crochet, just like this. Okay, 
see how the line becomes okay so i already have one that i prepared here it is see so i have one two three four five six seven okay now i am gonna come to the point where i'm going to do the edging here so there's uh, three rows of edging that we make which is four double crochet one chain and then i skip one between and then i create this so there's a total of seven one two three four five six seven after you crochet again two four six seven the eight one is this uh four double crochets okay so i'm starting a new row and uh, i already so what i did is i did my two double crochet and then i did my um my fourth and i chained one but before i chain i'm just gonna count sometimes we get extra double crochets so i'm counting two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen 16, 18, 20. Okay, 28 is perfect. So there's supposed to be 28, right? So I chained one and I'm going to skip one. And on the next one, I'm going to continue making a total of four. Back post, double crochets. Okay, so this is two chain one and then again i'm going to skip one and then i'm going to make total of four one two three and four okay skip chain one skip one Two, three, I have four, so the fifth, chain one, skip one, two, three, chain one. Oops, here we go, three and four. So I did, I did six. So the seventh, I don't have any one to skip, but that's okay, chain one. Yeah, it happens. Because, uh, there's no rules, I guess, on this uh, motif. <laughs> so I did two front posts, and I'm going to do two increase. So that would be four. So I have seven of them. Okay, so I'm going to chain three. And I'm going to repeat what I just did. Two increase. And two front posts, so that makes four. Then I'm going to chain one, but I'm going to count again just to be on the safe side. If I have any extras, I, I will have to skip sometimes too. Two. Okay, on this one I have extra, so I'm going to skip two. Okay, so I will skip two at the beginning and I will skip two at the end. You can do that, just count. So you need to squeeze in total of seven. We need to have seven sets of uh, four double crochets. So they're, they're back post. Okay, chain one. Then make four double crochets just like this. 
just want to show you. So I am making this part here, this first row of the edging. Gives you this nice lacy look. And then I will show you how to attach them. It's so easy and it's so elegant. Yeah. So four. Chain one, skip one, two, three, and four. Chain one, skip one, Three and four. Chain one, skip one, and go to the next one. Chain one, skip one. This should be the six, I believe. Let me go back and count. So one, two, three, four, five. Yep, yeah, and then the sixth one. <clears throat> hmm. Well, uh, we don't have extras. It's funny. I thought we had extras, but we don't. Okay, chain one and then make my last one. I'm not skipping, unfortunately. I skipped at the beginning too, which I shouldn't have. But I did. That's okay. Nothing to worry about. And then I do my increase. I chain three. Turn around and repeat this two more row sides. And when I finish, I will come back and we'll start the second row right here. Okay, so I'm almost finishing the last row and we're going to start a new row. So I did the last two increase. Okay, so here what we're going to do is we're going to make the four double crochets here. One, two, three, chain. And then make four double crochets. Just like this. Three, four chain one and then chain jump where we did the uh, one chain and then we make four double crochets so we're not doing any back posts we're doing the regular double crochets on the chain that we did and then we chain one again and this is all we're doing this row till we start the new row going to do the picots three chain one Go super fast. Lots of double crochets though, so that uses up the yarn. And if you have lots of yarn, <laughs> you can use that yarn. Two, three, four, chain one, and then jump right here. Three. I am just doing double crochet, so I, I might go fast. And if you want to slow it down, chain one and then jump where the one chain is. If you want to slow down, you can go to the settings and you can slow it down. It's just regular double crochet. Just trying to save time. So chain one. Okay. And then I'm going to jump where the three chain is. Then I'm going to make total of... Um, me just show you so I'm making this part right here see I'm going to make four double crochets so two three four chain three two 
two, three, and then four. Chain one and jump here. So this is all I'm doing when you come to the corner. You make your four double crochet, three chain, four double crochet. Just like this. And this is how it looks like. So let me just finish these the remaining three rows. And I will come back to show you the last row. And also these three rows that I'm showing, you can make this on the edge of a blanket. Like you can uh, use this method that I'm just showing you. It gives you a nice uh, lacy look. Okay, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I finished this row. I did my four double crochet. I'm going to do my three chain. Now we're going to start the new uh, row and we're going to be starting with the pico so i'm going to do three double crochet okay so this is going to be the last row okay from here we're going to be chaining five okay right on this last double crochet between i'm going to make a slip stitch so i made my first pico I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five. And then on that same, oops, the yarn split. Okay. On the same, I'm going to come here and then make another slip stitch. So I made my second pico. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to make my last pico. Make a slip stitch right on that uh, same double crochet. And here I'm going to make my fourth double crochet. See, and this way you see, you it looks like you did two and then you did two. But actually we did three double crochet and then we did the um, picots. Okay, so just to show you. I, and uh, I'm going to jump here where the one chain is. And I'm going to chain one to do that. And then I'm going to repeat it on every chain that I see. So three double crochet. One, two, three, four, five chain, and then come here and then make my slip stitch. And I repeat this five chain, slip stitch, one, two, three, four, five, slip stitch. Okay, chain one, and then come here. And repeat this three double crochet one two three four five chain slip stitch five chain slip stitch slip stitch and then make my fourth double crochet and then I continue Lots of double crochet. Two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Slip stitch. Slip stitch. Three picots. And then make my last double crochet chain one. Okay, so I will continue and I will meet you at the corner just to show you. And this is how it looks like for so far. See? Okay, so I made my last one here. And then I'm going to come to the corner and I'm going to chain one. And I'm going to do three double crochet. I'm going to make two uh picots here so i'm gonna make three double crochet one two three four five right here one two three four five and then make a slip stitch on the double crochet so i repeat that three times because this is being a corner i'm going to make my last double crochet I'm going to chain three as we did on every row we did three chain so here I'm going to make another of this one just pull a little bit so make three double crochet 
one, two, three, four, five. Make a slip stitch, one, two, three, four, five. Slip stitch, one, two, three, four, five. Slip stitch, and then make the last double crochet. Okay, so chain one, and then I come here, and I am going to be making Every, on every chain these picot three double crochet five chain on that double crochet one two three four five one two three four five oops did my third third one and then make my last double crochet so I continue making this all the way around but because I am attaching so I'm going to be attaching one here so I will do that on the last last one here so I will do the two sides and I will come back to show you how to attach I'll be right back okay so I'm finishing I finished this row and I'm going to start the last row which I'm going to be attaching. So one, two, three, I did my one of my picots here, and then I'm going to start the next row, which is uh, three double crochet. One, two, three, four, five, and then make my first picot. So I'm going to join on the middle of the second picot. So one, two, three, so I'm gonna grab and I'm going to attach it with this one, not this one, but this one. And I'll let the, when you start the next row. Okay, to do that, this is how I'm going to attach. So I'm going to grab it from here and then make a slip stitch. One, two, three. And then finish my picot. And then make the third picot. Five chain slip stitch and make my last double crochet one chain and then come here and then repeat this so it's a little bit heavy it's pulling so two three one two three four five make my first pico one two three and grab grab it in the middle the middle second pico like this and then make a slip stitch see one two three and then come here and then continue make your pico and then make the third one five and then make my double crochet see i already attached two and this is how it looks like <clears throat> okay so i'll show you one more time chain one and then come here <clears throat> looks like i did three chains <laughs> it's okay and <clears throat> Not, nothing's perfect <clears throat> so my throat is dry sorry about that three double crochet one two three four five chain Come here, one, two, three, right here, one, two, three, and then make my pico, one, two, three, four, five, and then repeat it, and then make my last one. Okay, I'll show you one more time. <laughs> it's re it goes really fast. Okay, jump here, make your three double crochet. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Grab the middle one. 
just like this slip stitch pull one two three and then finish your pico and one two three four five and make your last one and this is how you do your attachment i hope you see make your last last uh double crochet chain one and then continue so i will finish this row and i will show you how to finish the last one i'll be right back okay so i'm doing the last one right at that corner we already started with one pico so i'm gonna do the last one okay so three double crochet one two three four five slip stitch and I'm going to grab this one, this pico in the middle. And you can see this one is already attached to that. So make a slip stitch, three chain, make a pico, one, two, three, four, five, and make my third pico. Okay, and then make a double crochet. Well, I'm not going to make a double crochet because you can see that there's the this will be higher. So what I'll do is I'm just going to make like this. <laughs> Half double crochet. Okay, so we're done. I'm going to chain three. Okay, and then I'm going to cut my yarn. Just like this. Pull it is tight and I weave I weave it okay I'm just gonna grab a tapestry needle I weave my ends because at the end if you don't weave it it's gonna build up and I don't like seeing thread all over the place I could have pulled up with the crochet hook but that's okay I'm just going to weave it just like this. Ta-da! And I'm done. So this is how you attach it. See how it looks? Doesn't this look elegant? I haven't blocked it or anything. Okay, just to show you. So this is how you attach it and this is how you crochet this lovely motif. I hope you like this tutorial. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe, share it with your family and friends. And don't be shy to hit that notification button. So every time I post a new video, you will be notified indicating I post a new update.